Shelters are a great way to stay comfortable out on the ice while you're fishing, but a pop-up like this can be pricey, which lends the question, could you use one of these instead? Let's find out. Hey everyone, it's Josh from the Fishing Duo channel, and today, like I said, we're going to find out if you can use a regular tent for ice fishing. But first, we're going to compare the features of a pop-up with a tent to see why you might want one over the other. And then after that, if you think you want a tent for ice fishing, we're going to show you how to modify it so it'll work. The best way to decide if a regular tent will even work for you is to first see why most ice anglers buy a hub style shelter like this Eskimo Quick Fish 3. One of the reasons I prefer an ice fishing pop-up is because they are tailored to the ice angler's needs. There's ample headroom to walk around in and situate all my gear without stooping over. I also like using pop-ups because I can set it up first, then drill my holes while standing inside, which means I can arrange my holes just how I want them. And as you can see, there's plenty of room to fish inside for one or even two people. There is even room to drill extra holes for both my fish finder and underwater camera without feeling crowded. It also sets up in under two minutes with only one person so you can escape the elements and start fishing faster. On top of that, they're made of rugged materials that withstand some serious wind and they generally have snow skirts to block out every last bit of wind if you shovel snow on it. Plus, you can buy insulated or uninsulated models depending on your comfort needs. Other features of a pop-up that you won't find on a regular tent are things like windows which let you check tip-ups without going outside or you can close them up to make it completely dark for a sight fishing hole and step through doors are a nice touch too. On the flip side, not everything about an ice fishing shelter is so grand. For starters, they are not the easiest thing to pack around on the ice. They take up a big chunk of your sled space and smaller shelters start out around 20 pounds. And of course, we can't get too far without mentioning the price. Shelters like this smaller one start out around $200, but they can go upwards of $1,000. Not so budget friendly for the casual angler. Now let's take a look at a regular tent to see how it compares to that pop-up. Now the biggest advantage of a regular tent is the price. I got this one here at Walmart for only $30. I know it's kind of small, but you can get bigger ones, it's just going to cost a little more, but it'll still be a huge savings. Another great thing about a tent is it's so much easier to carry. Most are only a fraction of the size as any hub style shelter that's out there on the market. This one even weighs less than 5 pounds and takes up less space in my sled than a 5 gallon bucket. But what are you sacrificing to save a little weight and some money? Well right off the bat, you can see that fishing in this tent is a tight squeeze for even one person with gear. I'm limited to kneeling and my typical swinging hook sets clearly demonstrate the limited headspace. Sure, larger tents give you more space, but that brings up the next limitation of camping tents, durability. This style tent is not designed to handle stiff winds that are common on big open expanses of ice. And bigger camping tents only magnify the problem. That thin fabric billows and flexes under mild wind and all that mesh isn't great for keeping in heat for those of you fishing in single digit or colder temperatures. If you opt for a sturdier all-weather tent that has enough space for two people and can keep you warm, you're going to end up spending close to what a pop-up costs anyway. Now when it comes to setting it up, it's fairly simple, but more time consuming and harder for just one person. Plus, you need to use the rain fly if you want to keep out the wind. Oh, and I almost forgot, there's no way I can use an auger inside that tent, which means I need to pre-drill my holes, then set up the tent over those holes. So who would actually benefit from using a regular tent instead of a pop-up? Well, if portability and cost are major priorities to you, then it's pretty tough to overlook the benefits of a camping tent for ice fishing. I would only recommend it if you fish in areas where temperatures rarely drop into the single digits. Think of this as more of a windbreak as opposed to a cozy escape when the weather gets harsh. 
Overall, if you only venture onto the ice a couple times a year, then this might be all you need. For those of you still interested in using a camping tent for an ice fishing shelter, I'm gonna now show you how to modify it to make it fishable. Most camping tents come with a tarp floor like this, so it's pretty obvious we're gonna to have to cut something out so you can drill your holes. The question is, how much? Well, it's entirely up to you. You can either cut out just enough space for a hole, or you can cut out the whole floor and use a different flooring option instead. If you wanna keep most of the floor and just cut out maybe a single hole, just be aware that it's gonna get really wet. As you fight fish, as you walk in and out, you're gonna start getting puddles around, so you're gonna to wanna to have a towel on hand to dry it out. If you'd rather just cut out the whole floor, make sure you leave about a six inch border all the way around. Not only does that provide a little bit of structural stability when you're setting it up, it also acts like a snow skirt when you scoop snow on top of it to keep out even the slightest bit of wind. Removing the floor also makes packing it all up a little bit easier because there's no floor to collect water, so you're not gonna have a big sopping wet mess when you get home. Still not sure how exactly you wanna cut out the floor? Then just do what I did and combine the two options. First, completely cut out a smaller strip of the floor where you can drill a couple holes. This gives you ample space where splashing water won't get your gear all wet. On the remaining section of floor, make a straight cut down each side, but don't cut the back edge. And just remember to leave that border I mentioned earlier. Now, with the remaining flooring attached to the tent, you can roll it up when you don't need it, or you can unroll it so you have a little bit of extra dry space for setting a coat or keeping all your other gear off the ice. With the floor cut out, we're almost done getting this tent ready for fishing, but there's one more thing you're gonna need, and that's these, ice stakes. A set of these only costs $20 on Amazon. Without them, in a stiff wind, your tent will be halfway across the lake before you even know what happened. You need at least four for the corners, but get a couple more if you wanna add some guy wires for additional support. No matter what style ice fishing shelter you end up getting, the goal is to stay comfortable and out of the nasty weather. So hopefully you learned that there's a few different options out there and a tent could be one of them. Again, thank you so much for watching. And if you feel like this video deserved it, please consider subscribing. We're gonna put out a lot more content to help you fish better. And in the meantime, head over to fishingduo.com where we've got a lot more helpful fishing content. Until then, be safe and we'll see you on the ice.